Hi, I've been waiting for you. This video is the first of a series of question and answer videos. I predict that this series, which is going to be in a playlist, is going to become the largest of the playlists. And there's a reason for that. The reason is people have a lot of questions and there are a lot of answers available. So today, our first question is, who was M. L. Andreasen? He passed away in 1962. Wikipedia states that he was one of the Seventh-day Adventist Church's most prominent theologians during the 1930s and the 1940s. His name is associated to his pamphlets, Letters to the Churches, and this is the main focal point of our question and answer here. Early in the summer of 1957, Andreasen was given a copy of the minutes of the White Estate Board of Trustees for May of that year. This is very interesting because when you read, this is a little, it's fairly small little pamphlet, and I get this back a little bit, and it's letters to the churches, and there are six of them in here. That is not everything that he produced, but M. L. Andreasen was, of course, quite noteworthy um, as being a leading and prominent theologian. The big problem with that is a lot of times blindness comes because of that. He was fully dedicated to the church and to this message, but he did not realize that he was handling a counterfeit spirit of prophecy. And for that reason, he got a little bit distracted with some of the things that are said. So this minutes of the meeting that he got actually had almost 1,500 pages to it and just hundreds of hours where there were two men who were evangelicals. They were um, involved with editing. One of them was the main editor, and the other one was an associate editor of the Eternity magazine, which was an evangelical magazine. Their names, last names, were Martin and Barnhouse, and this became known as the Martin Barnhouse meetings, which occurred in uh, 1950. To 1956, somewhere in that time frame. So these two men made a deal with the church, and we're going to be getting into that in the next video. And we invite you to check that out, you'll be very interested. Vern Bates now deceased, told me the following items about Andreasen. That when he heard about the Martin Barnhouse meetings, he did what he could to work with the church and get them to stop doing what they were doing. When they refused, he went public and made his letters to the churches. After that, the church pulled his retirement. They quit paying him and that kind of left him broke. And at some point after that, according to Vern, the matter went to court and um, M. L. Andreasen was uh, refunded, paid back for everything that they had stolen from him by not paying him his retirement, plus some pain and suffering. I don't have all the facts about this. This is what I got from Vern. But when reading his letters to the churches, please keep in mind the fact that he had no clue that any part 
of the spirit of prophecy was a counterfeit. However, the fact that he was a thorough student and prominent theologian is proof positive that spiritual blindness is real. If God blinds you, you will never see what the truth really is. But just take your Bible and read Mark chapter 4, verses 10 to 12. Interestingly, there's a fair amount of information on the web about M. L. Andreasen. He had some ideas that were not sustained by the authentic spirit of prophecy. In the judgment, everything will be revealed. Will he be there? We don't know. But we're grateful that God is very merciful and righteous. Amen. There are special links in the description. I invite you to take a look at those. And God bless your study.